Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Second Step lesson. I'm excited to tell you that we are starting a new unit and our lessons for the next couple of weeks will be all about problem solving. This is a very important skill for us to learn. Let's get right into today's story. Our story today involves Tiana and Connor. They are going to run into a problem while working on a group project. Before we watch the video to see what happens, first listen to our problem solving song that will help us remember the steps to solving problems, S-T-E-P. Here it is. If I'm stuck and in trouble and I don't know what to do, there are four problem solving steps that always help me through. Number one, it's the S yes step. S, say the problem. What is the problem? Number two, it's the T step. T. What can we do? Number three, it's the E step. E, explore consequences. What might happen? Number four, it's the P step. P, pick the best solution. What will work the best? So let's all remember the four problem solving steps. Let's say them one time over. So we never forget One, two, three, four S-T-E-P -E. What is the yes step? Say the problem What is the T step? Think of solution What is the E step? Explore consequences What is the P step? Pick the best solution If I'm stuck and in trouble And I don't know what to do I use the problem solving steps They always help me through Cause I am a problem solver. 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 I say I am a problem solver. 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 S T E P S T E P S T E P S T E P S T E P S T E P S T E P S T E P Have you ever been working on a school project with a partner and everything is going well? And then something happens. A problem comes up out of nowhere. Well, Connor and Tiana are out here in the hall working on a poster together, but they don't look too happy. Let's find out what's going on. Wait, I said the title should be red. Everyone uses red. It's a dumb color. No, it isn't. Green is dumb. Green looks a lot better than red. A lot better. Fine, then I'm just gonna make my own poster. Go ahead, then I can just tear this one up and do a better one by myself. Hey, what's going on? I'm guessing from all the racket around here that there's some kind of problem. I don't want to do the poster with him anymore. I don't want to focus you either. He thinks my color is dumb, but his is dumb. Let's just tear it up then. Connor and Tiana are having a problem. They need to solve it so that they can get their work done. But first, they need to calm down. Wow, these are powerful feelings. You haven't forgotten what you do first when you're this upset, have you? The first thing is calm down. How do you do that? With your stop signal. 
Remember what you chose as your oh. signal? Relax. Be cool. Okay, good. Can you name your feelings? I'm frustrated and mad. I feel fed up. You've just done something pretty important. You've named your feelings. Frustrated, mad, fed up. It sounds like you're exasperated. All of this adds up to being stuck. You've got a poster project that is on the way to nowhere. Unless... Unless... What? Unless you can get some help from your brain. That's why you need to calm down, so you can think. I think it's time for some belly breathing. that everybody's calm, you can start solving your problem with S-T-E-P. Let's start with S. Say the problem, right? The problem is Connor never listens to me. Yeah, well, you're always bossing me around. Sounds like you're both playing the blame game. When you say words like never or always, you're blaming each other. Connor never listens to my ideas. Tiana is always bossing me around. Sound familiar? Those are blaming words. Your words make it sound like your partner is at fault. But you can figure out how to say the problem without blame. Both Tiana and Connor say the problem in a way that blames the other person and it makes it seem like it's the other person's fault. Blaming words like never and always are not respectful. When we use these words, it can make other people angry and it makes it very hard to get anywhere with solving the problem. Think about how you would say the problem without blame. Let's watch this last clip to find out how Anthony helps Connor and Tiana say the problem without using blaming words. Here's a way you can say the problem without blame. It works by figuring out what you want or need. Tiana, tell us what you want or need. I want to use red for the title. Connor, what do you want or need? I want to use green for the title. If we put those wants together, we can say the problem is... We both want to use different colors for the title. I think you're on to something. Tiana and Connor are able to say the problem without blame. Tiana says, we both want to use different colors for the title. That's a great way to state the problem. Now Connor and Tiana are ready to use the next problem solving steps. We will watch them do this in our next lesson. Today, you started to learn about the problem solving steps. S-T-E-P. Say the problem, think of solutions, explore consequences, and then pick the best solution. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next lesson.